Okay, we're on B. I'm gonna roll this over and we'll be on C. That's it, yeah. We'll be on C and then that will be cylinder number three. Can you see it? C is right there and then there's a line. I have to go just a little bit more to get it to line up. So hopefully I can do this one. Nope, I gotta put it down, hold on. There you have it, it's on C, with that line, you can see the actual mark on the bouncer there, is right at the top of the white mark, more or less, there we go. Now let's do cylinder number five. Okay, I got, I'm actually facing the rear of the motor right now. The rear of the motor is that way, the front is this way, but I'm sitting on top. I can get everything and I said cylinder number five I actually meant cylinder number three Let's see if we can do this pretty quickly I'll show you how it's done there's no real videos for this for me when I needed it so anyways I already loosened everything that was a brand new rocker but loosen it up loosen it up both of them loosen up the Use the number 13. By the way, all of my tools come from O'Reilly's and AutoZone. Nothing fancy here. Now I need the 15 16 for the injector nut. There it's loose. Okay, we'll start with the injector. What you want to do here is you can get this at AutoZone. This is goes for 71 inch pounds. Please don't put 71 foot pounds on this. But all right, what you do is you bring it over until you're at 71, and that's in between the 72 and the 70 mark. And I'll just keep going until I get to it. see it but I'll go until I get to the 70 mark and then 71 right there all right now what I need to do is mark this get a dry spot mark it because this cannot move you see how I marked it in two different spots okay that needs to be a line after you do this three times so Put this guy back in there, loosen it back 